Welcome to my next project, the Junkyard Peugeot Rebuild. So I found this Peugeot 306, it might be a 1.8 or a 2.0, I do not know. But here it is, it looks wonderful, doesn't it? I got it for the equivalent of $400 at the Junkyard. The previous owner had tried to change his timing belt. I got the timing wrong and smashed his valves. Um, could not pay the mechanic back. So here we go. I bought it off him and what a wonderful state this car is in. It's been sitting for two years. It has developed its own ecosystem. Um, we have little plants here growing in the cardboard and the carpet. We have bits of the engine absolutely everywhere. There's a head gasket, there's uh, the intake radio i do not know for what reason that is um, here is the exterior absolutely smashing um so yes i could, guess you could say this is an eco-friendly car um it produces no toxic gases and is actually green we're getting there here is the engine well part of it with the head removed now, to me, it seems that there is no pitting, and I am going to take that back. There might be. Da, da, da. So, my hopes is to make this a cheap rebuild, get this car to a point where it is roadworthy, and maybe make it an everyday run-around car. I'll take you to the cylinder head to show you the actual damage. And here, good people, is the cylinder head. I have removed all the valves because they took on a shape that I did not agree with. Here we go, here are the inlet valves, very badly damaged. Um, the exhaust, however, seemed to have remained intact. Uh, they all came out nice and clean from the valve guides with a nice little pop when I put my finger up against it. However, the inlet valve seats, that's another story. Let me try and show you some of the chipping that happened on the valve seat. So actually most of the chipping here has happened on the combustion chamber but if I block that out you might be able to see there's a teeny bit of an indent in the seat. Here's this, that was, that was cylinder four. Cylinder three. Two. And that's where we seem to have the most damage. And one. But now all you mechanics out there, what do you think if I do a little valve lapping job with new valves will I be able to get them to seat correctly and have enough sealing to make this run correctly I don't need a whole heap of horsepower but will it run